Would you like to learn what are the three best alert libraries that you can use in your web application that's gonna make your application awesome and your clients are gonna love it? If you do, make sure you watch this whole video because I'm gonna share with you some of the really awesome library that's gonna make your application look really amazing. So let's get right to it. And the number one library, it is what I think it is. It's called Sweet Alert. This thing is so amazing. Let me show you. So if I scroll all the way down, actually right about there, right? So let's say this is like a regular alert, which looks like a JavaScript, plain, boring, blah, blah, blah. However, the Sweet Alert, check this out boom and you can have like a different kind of a alert that says like hey there's an error message you did something wrong kind of thing right so that is number one and if we go down there's a whole bunch of other ones you could pick and choose from it and so on and so forth and let's go to the next one which is called boot box js and don't worry i'm gonna link to all three of them in the description for you so you all you gotta do is click on the link and go right to them and this is pretty amazing as well because all you got to do is just add uh, their JS and their CSS file and you will literally write this particular line of code and click on run this is just an example obviously right and then this alert will come up and you don't have to worry about writing anything else it is so easy to uh, use and let me show you some of the other example and there's a whole bunch of others you got the basic one in which is this alert and then you can have uh, another one which you can do something and then there's a callback where it does all that stuff and it's so cool this is something that you want to use when you have like a some user validation kind of thing and you can also put like an input field within this particular uh, library and this is the best coolest CSS library and I put that under this category because you could literally use it for this category so for example let's say you have a login screen in which the user put in the wrong password or the email address and you want to just uh, show them by changing or moving the container or a field that they tell them like this is wrong rather than showing a yellow box or red letter or something like that right so let's just assume for a second this is a container or a field or a box something that you want to animate literally all you gotta do is just put this and then there's a variety of different animation you can do one of my favorite one is is this one wobble and then it's gonna shake left to right, left to right. And that tells you like, hey, by the way, this is wrong. And then there's a bounce, you can go up and down. There's a variety of different things, right? So, so let's uh, test these things out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test out uh, the animate and the sweet alert and the box one. You could do it yourself because it's pretty basic. I literally have the documentation on how to do it. So I'm not gonna too much into that. So let's go over here to sweet alert. And then we're gonna go to docs. And over here, there is a, a getting started guide. Actually, let's go to guide. There's an installation in which you can download the whole thing as a webpack or a, a in a library and install it into your local drive. But I will just use this, which I already have it. And then, or if you want to use this, basically, all you do is just call, call this. And I have this right over here. And if just this is just a regular bootstrap, as you know, I love bootstrap and their framework is amazing. And then over here, this button has a C, this uh, BTN underscore but alert. This is the class when I'm clicking on it, it's gonna go to jQuery, which is this. And you know, I love me some jQuery. And if you wanna learn, or better yet, you wanna master, literally master jQuery, there's gonna be a link in the description in which you can take the course that's gonna help you create some amazing, amazing web application on the front end side. And it's gonna really help you speed up your web development projects. So, having said that, so let's say whenever I click on this I want to show that new alert and all I gotta do is just say I'll customize some say something else let's say hello code with mark and I'll save it go back to the little template that I created and refresh it now if I click on this there should be a sweet alert 
All right, and here it is. And by the way, the reason why it looks so big is because I have zoomed in. But if I zoom out of it, it's going to look pretty normal size, which is this one right here. So I just zoomed it in so that way it will look pretty good on your mobile device. Or if you're looking at some small, small screen, you'll be able to read and everything else. So that's one library. So let's say, let's go pick another one. Let's say if you want to do a success, which means... Well, I'm not going to do it because literally you just copy and paste it, right? So if you want to do a success, you could just do this and like, Ooh, voila, it's done. If you want to do an error message, warning, loop of warning and information. Actually, you know what? I'm just curious to see how this sweet alert, the warning one looks like. So let's go here and I'll just put in literally, I'm kind of lazy. So I don't want to type it. I'm going to copy it, come in here, paste it, and then refresh it. So see what it does, what it looks like. Oh, it's maybe it's a little bit. All right, so that's what this does. That's cool. And I'm assuming the info part of it will be uh, just a regular explanation mark, I think. Let's find out. Yep, that's what I figure. All right, so quick. So let's move on to the animated one. So in the animation one, uh, how does this work? If you scroll all the way down, let me just zoom out a little bit, just a little bit so we can see it. So we'll include this one line of code, which is your uh, uh, CSS for animate.style. I'm gonna come over here and paste it here. Before that, let me zoom out so I could just copy this whole thing because I don't want to type. All of us are lazy sometimes. And copy this. And paste it. Go over here. And now we're here. And let's zoom back in. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a class in here. Call it, uh, I don't know, I'm just going to call it pause for now. And when we go over here, I'm going to add the class of bounce. And then if you hover your mouse on the right hand side, I don't know if you can see it or not, let me zoom it in. If you hover your mouse right over here, there is going to be a look like a, a little two windows. If you click on those two windows, it's going to copy the whole thing that what it needs to there. So what I'll do is I'll go to document. Find, uh, no, actually, I want to find the post. Find post and then add class. And I'll say add this class. And before we add this class, there's another class that we need to add to it which will help us do it, which is the animated, animated. I don't know why, but that's what we gotta do. So we'll just do animated, animated. And now before I do anything, if I click on this, it's gonna show a sweet alert. And then notice when I click on this, just pay attention to here. This thing is gonna bounce, watch. How cool is that? Like literally when I click on this, it's not gonna do it now because the thing is already in there. So what I need to do is I gotta first, when I click on this, I can just go over here and then I can say, remove classes, which would be both of these classes. And then, then, Go back here, refresh it. So if I, every time I click on it, it should bounce. There's one, didn't do it, didn't do it. Let's see why. All right, so let's go over here. Let's see if there's an error message. No, there is no error message. So once I click on this, basically it should remove this. So let's see if I remove it. Well, it's not going to add it, obviously, if I remove it. So anyway, you get the point, right? You Once you add the class, just like this, and then it will bounce. So there we go. And then what you can do is, let's say if I want to do it again, I'll just show you manually. I'll just do it right over here on the right-hand side. 
I'll just come here and then just remove this. So right now there is no class. And if you click on this, it's gonna bounce again. How cool is that? And far as this thing goes, once again, you can just click on the getting started and then download the files, which is these right over here. And then you could just click on the examples and then walk you through it step by step how to do it. So hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, let me know by how you're gonna do it, right? Let me ask you this. By hitting the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed it. If you feel like there's another alert library that can help our community out, make sure you leave it comment below to that way you can contribute to our community. All right, guys, until next time, what I always say, happy coding.